Josh Peck is going to be playing uh, Corey Baxter. Um, Alrighty. You going to play melee? Alright, I will not turn off the stream. Anyways, uh, here we go. We're going to go straight into the match. We have uh, Corey Baxter versus Josh Peck going on. Uh, you can go ahead and follow Josh Peck over at uh, Portable Shua. So, uh, they're going to be doing a Falcon Ditto. Okay. Kel's being uh, the Black Falco. Or uh, Falcon, go figure. Oh, I'm sorry, that was a little racist. I, I apologize. My bad. My B. Leffen, my B. Good tech. Good tech. Scythe Ops for the, the Blood Falcon. Blood Falcon's pretty cool. I like that palette swap. I don't know. Or no, Kelly's Blood Falcon. That was a good uh, read. Scythe's been rolling in a little bit too much. Yeah, again, uh, we're having another Falcon Ditto. It's really just, I feel like, uh, if you get one hit on the opposite Falcon, uh, and that Falcon knows how to convert, he can just tech chase you into your death. Um, What's up, cocksuckers? I'm back. Alright. Poosh is going to go ahead and... Uh, Did you know that Kel said he was going to go all Falco today and then immediately went Falcon? What a piece of shit. Tell me, yo, uh, what's your Twitter plug? Poosh182? Come on now. This is my everything plug. My butt plug. It's your butt plug. Okay. Um, Kel's going to lose this game. I was explaining earlier how I think that in a Falcon Ditto, it just comes down to... Uh, if you're if you're playing optimally, you can just you get one hit on the other Falcon, and then it just comes down to tech chasing, and you're like your punish game. Because if your punish game is strong enough, that should be a stock, you know. Who do you think is gonna win between S2J and between Johnny and Gravy? S2J. Really? I think Gravy's a really strong Falcon. I think I think the Florida Falcons are the best dittoers. Because they're fucking lame and they don't care. I, I think Gravy is a really, really amazing Falcon player. I just, I think Johnny has some of an edge. I don't know. I actually don't know. Like, I, I don't Johnny will not win that. And the, the reason I think so is because... I think Gravy has better tech chasing. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Gravy's a lame piece of shit. And he, you know what I mean? He like, plays optimal Falcon. Yeah, exactly. Falcon. And, and it's just like, Johnny doesn't even try to edge guard. Like... He just he just fights. He just plays he just plays it like a, a fun game. That game at Nebulous against Lucky is like what what am I watching? The saddest grand finals ever. It's like oh this isn't even like Johnny was really he was he was playing garbage though to be honest. He had some cool stuff but that was not the best I've seen him play. Okay, well oh, he even edge canceled. He edge canceled the knee into a ton. So they do it. Kelly's gonna take game one I guess. Hey, so I was like saying earlier. Blood Falcon is like the Black Falcon, right? That's Blood Falcon. Blood Falcon's red. Red okay, and purple. So I'm wrong. So um, I was right the first time then. Blood Falcon. So Blood Falcon, uh, he's the first alternate costume character. Because he had it in 64 and he has it in Melee. If you look at the picture on his back, it's a different number and it says Blood Hawk instead of the Blue Falcon. In Melee? In Melee and in 64. Oh, that's cool. He's a different character. That's cool. Also, that's, I don't know, that's not really hard. Hey, you ever played F-Zero GX? I want to. I've seen, like... You don't want to. I've seen it run, and it looks like an amazing run. It's really cool. Dude, it's so hard. I love watching speedruns. And uh, that game is definitely really cool to watch speedrun. Kels is really, really mad. Because it's so hard. Kels is really mad that, that Scythe went Falco. Although... Kells could have just gone Falco game one like he said he was going to. He's, he, I don't know. I want, I want Scythe to win. Also, you didn't update the score. Stay free, nerd. Oh, man. Kells will get it. There you go. If you like, 
I put one on the on the scoreboard. And you gotta I update. You, you gotta mash the fuck out of update. You have to like pull out your like Pokemon Stadium one tech skill. Yeah, it's definitely like Mario Party amounts of mashing for sure. Mario Party One was just all about the fucking analog stick grinding yeah. and having like a circle imprint on your hand. Dude, that Mario was Party awful. Mario Party Two is the best Mario Party. I'm I'm not sure. Like I love Mario Party Two. Mario Party Four was pretty good. Four was good. I like. I think three just did a good job of expanding on uh, all the ideas that two had. You know, like sure. more characters, more more maps, more shop items, stuff like that. It's hard. Ah, dude, Mario Party Two is gonna be my favorite forever though. For oh sure. gee. Oh, earlier I said that this was a match between Corey Baxter and uh, Josh Peck. If you're wondering what that is in the chat. Yeah. Okay. I saw one-eyed Kels. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh man, Kelly's definitely having fun. Dude, Kelly kind of looks like uh, a bitch. Like E.T. <laughs> it's so true though! I feel like oh really look god. at it. Oh my god. Just pay attention. He's, like, he's fucking he's E.T. dude. He kind of looks like it. Elliot! <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, dude. It's fucking E.T., dude. It's E.T. IRL. IRL E.T. You see what the Zeke guy is saying in the chat? He says Mario Party 2 is his least favorite. Alright. I'm gonna give a nice punch in the face when I see you. In, in real life, I'm just gonna hit you very hard in the face. Like, I mean, like, you mean least favorite, like, as in it's second place to another game? Or least favorite as in, like, with all the other Mario Parties, because there's some really shitty Mario Parties out there. Like Mario Party 10! And all the... Uh, what is it? I, okay. eight, it started with 8, that they used like, the car thing, right? Or was that 9 and 10? That was 9. That was because... That's like the dumbest after, fucking shit ever. After Mario Party 8 happened, they had... Uh, it was Hudson that got bought by Konami. Yeah. So then Hudson stopped making Mario Party games. That's why it changed so drastically. And you didn't see Mario Party for a while. Hudson also made Bomberman, didn't they? Good. Kelly uh, screams fuck out of anger. Yeah. Because he's a bitch. You guys can go ahead and quote that. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Alright, uh. So your least favorite is Mario Party 4, followed by Mario Party 2. Have you ever considered killing yourself? Like, what the fuck? Alright, there we go. Did you win? Mario Party Advance Outplayed. is pretty cool. Oh, uh, no, but, okay. I think that the minigames in 9 and 10 are actually good. I just think that the board just sucks. And, like, they don't have the old school formula, so it's they're not played as much. Super Smash Flash 2. I could play as Goku. And Wing. Oh, sure. It's not even a good game. It's fun. It's got some neat shit, but it's... Just lacking so much. For a Flash game, it's very impressive. For a Flash game, it's very good, but it's just, uh, it's not a Smash game, dude. Straight up. I think Mario Party 3 just wins to me because it has Waluigi. And he makes such annoying sound effects. So oh, you're a Waluigi you? main in Mario Party? Not necessarily. I'm a tried and true Yoshi player forever. I like Daisy. Hi, I'm Daisy. This is my waifu. Daisy's <laughs> definitely uh, the best at sports, I'll say. She's got that booty. Mario Strikers. Oh my god, dude, I just got an idea. What if somebody, like, changed the melee or PM overlay, and they had all the CSPs, like, the, the character portraits, be, like, like Strikers stylized? That we can't do about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super Mario Strikers is a good fucking game. That game was brutal. Yeah, it was fun. That game was straight up, game. like, should have been rated M. They, they, it was like, a dirty fucking game. It was fun. It was, like, it was a really cool game. I see never gets old. That be out. Hey, Seek Hard. I don't know if you know this, but Brawl is actually a pretty fuck game. Not for singles, but goddamn if Brawl doubles isn't amazing. Oh god, come back here. So is, uh. Assume Kelly's the blue fox? No, yeah, I guess. I guess so. Kelly's used to play green. 
I don't know if I like the blue fox. Blue fox is my favorite fox. Purple and pink, dude. Purple is my second favorite color. He's definitely like the the Ravio fox. If I had to pick one, or like he's like definitely ready for a dance party. And uh, I fox. thought you, I, I was thinking of Flavio from Mario or Paper Mario. Oh, Fla the pirate, Flavio could work. Like the pussy pirate. Flavio is pretty cool. Doubles are good in every Smash game, doesn't matter what it is. Or how slow. No, I don't like. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think melee doubles is good. Cause you have to be like a European team to make doubles look good. Cause it's, it's so much bullshit at like mid levels. Like, like even at mid levels in brawl, it's just like there needs to be such good communication from teammates, and it's just very, very methodical and like strong team work. I feel like um. I feel like doubles is always like, to me, I've always personally felt like doubles is like, it really helps you improve a lot of like your singles play, because it helps you improve things like your spacing and, you know, you're a lot more careful about like where you uh, put your hitboxes and, and whatnot, because it can like not only hurt you, but your teammate as well, and then you disappointed two people. Yeah, Scythe is like collapsing like the Tower of Pisa. But it hasn't collapsed. So that yeah. sucks, dude. He didn't even play Fox. But, um, what was I going to say? There's PM tonight, yes. And I am out because I went all Fox today. Trying trying to go melee. Trying to go Fox and melee forever. Hey, Kel's won. Who's surprised? Did you like my impression? What's your favorite sound in melee? Mine's.